on the last video I got the engine running good and uh, just moved it back and forth and tried all the mechanisms and stuff right now I've got it up on end um, because I want to take off this cover and lubricate all the mechanisms in there because the uh, shift mechanism is quite sticky and I'll put some fluid film on that That bolt's already broken off. Okay, I had to do a little cleanup. There was still a lot of dripping stuff in there from when I did the oil change. It kind of comes out onto the deck and apparently it gotten in there pretty heavy. Uh, but what I want to do is this this gear here has to slide and you can see that that thing is dry. All this stuff's got good, good greasy oil on it uh, over here. But this shaft, that wheel has to move back and forth. Let me operate it. So, being that it's a little dry, it doesn't want to do it. It just makes it difficult to shift if you want to use the reverse and everything. I mean, generally, you just leave it in one, one speed anyway. What you don't want to do is get it on that silver disc, because this thing it uses that for friction. So, actually, maybe I'm going to use um, just regular red grease, because it's more tacky, instead of uh, fluid film, which I, I was thinking... But if it spins and gets that wet, it's not going to be good. Just try cleaning it off a little bit, get some of the loosest rust. The real fine stuff. We're not very far from it working fine, but you just don't want it to be sticky. Because then you won't want to use reverse when you got it. And I'm going to do this one too. Because I see that works with it. Oh, yeah. Much better. And now we got a good coat of grease so it won't rust again. Very good. Put some fluid film on these springs inside and out. That way, if, well, first of all, the springs won't rust out so fast. And also, if you ever have to make an adjustment on that threaded rod, maybe it'll still work for you. Good. Did I get all those springs? Yeah. Just double check the mechanism. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. So this one's got actually five gears forward and two gears reverse. So 
If you got the reverse white tug on it, if it, you know, if that's what people do. If they get sticky, you won't use it. All right, the next thing I want to do is this shoot spinner, what I call, is not engaging. So there's a nut on the bottom. I got to move this assembly in towards the towards the in towards the chute so it can actually make contact. All right. Let's give this a couple cranks. And it's an old-fashioned flat square nut. Wow. Maybe this machine's older than I thought it was. You should be able to adjust this. There it goes. Let's see how that is. Maybe a little too tight. Well, it's just not quite, or maybe the chute itself is what's sticking. That goes good for a minute and then it backs right out. Maybe this chute, I'm going to take this off and see if that chute is able to spin by itself. Maybe that's what's binding me. I haven't seen one of those in a while. And this might be bent, so maybe that's not helping us either. Let's just see how. This yeah, this thing's really not turning very smooth. Maybe I can get it to loosen up by just turning it a couple times. It's probably just rusty underneath there. Definitely a little, a little rough around the edges. Okay, put a little fluid film on here, in the edges. Now it pretty much is how it should be. And the fluid film won't evaporate like a lot of uh, these quick penetrant oils would. So I feel pretty confident. See if it'll go. Oh yeah, but let's put it. Good. Now I noticed the uh, last time when I was working on it, one of these spiral flutes is bent. So I'm going to get the front bent part 
facing us and then we can just straighten that. It really wouldn't affect the performance but why not make it the way it was. Okay now probably you could see this has been bent in quite badly so it really wouldn't break anything or you know but it'll grab the snow better I guess if it was bent back so I'm just gonna see if it'll move easy. Yeah, who am I kidding? Close enough for me. That way it'll just grab evenly if you're getting into some heavy stuff. Instead of paddling flat on it, it'll actually dig in. Alright. That's all for the mechanical stuff, I think. Uh, I still got to put on the shield for the carburetor. That's no big issue and get the uh, a kill switch hooked up and then make a cover for the belts.